I want to do a quick review and install video on a uh, traffic signal sequencer. Uh, I've got this sequencer from this old box. I use it on eBay. And uh, you see his username there. And uh, he's got a number of them. This is the one I purchased was the RS10. RS10 is more than adequate for what I need. Um, let's go look at his other items and you'll see uh, what else he has. Uh, here's an RS12, TS14, some signal light lenses, uh, and, and then he's got a six output, three output controllers there. So he, he's got a number of number of different uh, controllers available at various prices. Um, the RS10 for me is more than enough. I've just got a red, yellow, green uh, light. I need to control. If you have multiple lights, you want to control. You want to control. Now, whatever you want to control, uh, he's got a number of them for you. Um, the TS uh, RS10 was adequate for what we wanted to do. Um, he does have good feedback. Um, there's eight dollars shipping on this particular item. Uh, in his ad, he also links you to um, a PDF that he makes available online. Uh, it's 27 pages of good information and uh, gives you all the specifications you need, how to wire it up, how to install it completely, and then he like says it's a very good instruction manual. And then he also shows the various sequences, standard light sequence, vintage light sequence, British light, yellow, red, green. So you can go through there and see for yourself. But um, here's if you just have uh, two lights uh, this is for a crosswalk system there's a button input option so that you can actually work cross crosswalk lights um, it just goes on and on also there's a capacity to use this for a uh, light tree if you were doing uh, racing lighting uh, so there's yeah it goes on and on there's railroad crossing option so this thing is very very versatile um, I purchased it on eBay I received it quite quickly. Uh, he shipped it quickly, and uh, it came to me fairly quickly. So I was happy with that. So if we go back to his his ad, um, and it shows what it's compatible with in the ad. You can look at the other ones; they'll give you other information. It shows me the modes of operation. So so far, I'm happy. Now we're going to go install it and see if we're equally happy with his performance. Well, we'll do a quick overview of my particular light. Um, it is a standard this is a standard red, yellow, green combination. Uh, I purchased it from a fellow who had uh, collected quite a few of them from a demolition or replacement project. Uh, one thing I did do uh, was I did go into each compartment and just little wings here that, that you open each compartment and uh, I just cleaned up the wiring a little bit the wiring was just kind of flailing around in the box I went ahead and put in a, um, a, a zip tie holder and kind of secured things a little bit also he had just a uh, like a lamp cord attached to it I happen to have this uh, three prong power cord available um, and so I've installed it now from the top down you still got to make a mounting bracket for this thing once I determine exactly where at my garage it's going to hang, which I have yet to determine. And I did the same thing down in the uh, down in the green light. I just cleaned up the wiring a bit, secured it to the wall. And so we're not going to worry about that. All the wires terminate here in the uh, yellow box. And I'll show you those now. There's a white wire for each light. And then there is a colored wire for each light. White wire for each light is neutral, or common, whatever you want, whatever nomenclature you want to use. And they terminate here in the back against a uh, terminal block. This particular terminal block has got some blade blades on it that we're going to use to use uh, spade connectors to connect it to. So here from the yellow, we've got a yellow wire coming in a white wire. White wires. Uh, neutral 
yellow wire is the line wire and then coming up from the green wire a green box rather we have a brown wire which is uh, line and then a white wire which is neutral and then a red and white coming from the top so we've grouped all the neutral wires um, here together and uh, they're going to connect to the board in one chunk and then uh, uh, the individual wires will, con will hook to the controller individually so the controller has control of each, each light uh, separately so one thing that I would do if I were you this happens to be the more modern lighting this is a plastic housing um, with uh, LED lights and uh, the housing itself um, is it's a bit dirty it's been around here and there and been used for quite a few years so um, in order to mount that board you want to use those little you know, I do want to use those little sticky feet that were provided with it so be sure and clean up your plastic um, if you're using a plastic light and what I'm doing is using just a paper towel to wipe off the dirt and the dust but in order to uh, make it adhere a little bit better I'm using a little bit of acetone and I'm wiping the inside of the box with that acetone in the area where I'm going to mount the the board now be careful um, acetone will solubilize this plastic as you can see evidenced by the yellow on my paper towel so I'm just using it sparingly and I'm absolutely keeping it away from the lenses I do not know if it would affect the lenses I also do not want to find out if it would affect the lenses. So, I also use the same procedure. <coughs> excuse me, the same procedure uh, to deal with the um, the little uh, self adhesive um, zip tie holders. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to peel uh, the backing off these four feet. I'm going to go ahead and install it, and we're going to get ready to wire this thing up. All right. In order to make the power connections, I'm going to do it outside the box, uh, just so I can show you better. And there's a little extra cord here. If you look on the uh, on the card, what you'll see is uh, a row of six, seven um, inputs, uh, wire connections, and they each have a letter, which is probably difficult, if not impossible, for you to pick up on video. But uh, basically, it says N, excuse me, E, N, L, A, B, C, and N. So, what we have is earth ground or green wire, N or neutral wire, typically white wire coming from your power cord, and then L, which is line or the black wire generally that comes from your power cord. Using two wire, this could be brown. If you're not sure, get some help. Uh, get with an electrician, get with somebody who has some practice at this. So, we're going to go ahead and hook up our power to green E, white N, and in our case, black for L. We'll get this hooked up. Get right back with you. We've got our power connected. Um, if you want to check and make sure your power is connected, correctly uh, just simply plug it in be cautious there's 110 volts exposed in the box there um, stand back whatever you'll see the red green and uh, red yellow and green LED indicators tripping along there there is a little bit of relay noise it's to be expected um, it's a mechanical relay but it's a small mechanical relay once you close that box uh, you'll barely know that it's clicking short of the lights moving You'll also know, note there's a blue um, LED indicator showing power to the board. So we're happy. We got power. Now let's see if we can sort out the lines going to our three different lines. All right, so we've wired it up. Uh, basically, I didn't have a great selection of uh, wire colors. But uh, just for summary, this is your neutral coming from your three lights. Red, yellow, green. And this is line power coming from your 120 volt wall source. This is your neutral, and this is your earth ground. Uh, here it's a green. So we're now connected, uh, board securely installed. Um, it should function. So we're going to go ahead and close this box up and uh, then give you a chance to 
see it in action. Um, we're going to look at a couple of modes. Uh, we're not going to spend a whole lot of time. You really need to read uh, read what this thing does and very quickly becomes obvious um, how you want to wire your lights and how you want to set your switches. As we discussed earlier, there's a set of dip switches right down here, uh, just under this relay. And that dip switches settings is what's going to specify the light pattern that you create. So we'll go through a few of them and show you. I'm going to try to keep the uh, timer down to a minimum just so we don't burn a lot of time uh, trying to uh, go through these things. So let's close it up. All right, so this is kind of the traditional uh, red, green, yellow, red, green. And so right now we're on red. And now we're back on green. And then we'll switch to yellow for an instant and then back to red again. So this is kind of just the stock approach. Um, the way a typical light works in America these days. So that's that one. Let's go look at some of the other options. The thing I should have shown you on that first go around excuse me, is what happens when you first plug it in? When you first plug it in, it does a light test. I'll show you what that looks like. Whoops. So it just checks to see that your lights are all working. And then it jumps to red. In this mode, we're going to see yellow in between red and green uh, going both ways. And when it goes back, it's going to give us that same uh, yellow combination. You'll see green and yellow, then we'll just see yellow, and then we'll see red and yellow, then we'll just see red. So again, it's just all what you want to see. If you're actually trying to control traffic, which I'm not, um, it might matter to you. In my case, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, so there's, there's a number of alternatives uh, that you can go through. Also, there's options for flashing reds, flashing yellows. Uh, I think I'll show you a little bit one of the what they call a wigwag, which is going to jump. Uh, or better yet, let me let me show you the chasing sequence. That ought to be pretty fun, as the lights chase each other. So let's give that a try. Uh, just to confirm, hopefully the obvious. Every time I switch the dip switches to go to these various settings, I am powering the unit down and then power your unit back up. You don't want to switch these dips around uh, while it's operating. So we'll go through a light test and then let's see what happens here. There's a chasing sequence. Now we can adjust the time on that chasing sequence by adjusting uh, three little potentiometers on the board. I've got them at a minimum cycle time right now. So uh, that's why we're getting pretty fast chase here on the lights. So. You can you notice it's uh, it's going green, yellow, red, back to green. Uh, I believe you can also change that to uh, to how's it? You can do it to skip yellow, I think, between one of them. But look, I mean, the, one of the beauties of this whole thing is is it's uh, it's so versatile. I uh, love it. Uh, I've got to take my hat off to Brent for a really great product really fast delivery the product is quality in appearance um, the price is reasonable uh, I think I showed you always $34.99 I think it was plus $8 shipping uh, and the shipping was quite fast I just ordered this uh, early this week and got it before the week was up so I got it within I think four days or so of my order so quite impressed with that and uh, I would have to say my review top-notch instructions easy shipping fast price very reasonable I hope if you are playing with such as this for your man cave garage or railroad train set or whatever it is you might use to apply this uh, that you find it just as great as I did thanks for watching